Good morning everyone, Rebecca from Suburban Stone Age here, where we use technologies from the Stone Age, Agricultural Age, and Information Age to build a more sustainable modern life. And right now we are hanging out in the Information Age. So we have this uh, modern technology. These are solar evacuated tubes, or solar vacuum tubes. And what you're looking at here is a solar hot water heater prototype. Uh, I've been kind of collecting parts to build this and now that uh, gardening season is basically over for the winter I have time to put all the pieces together so the way it works is inside this 50 gallon stock tank is a submersible pom pump and the hose goes from the pump into the uh, solar, I guess it's a manifold, but for the vacuum tubes, those are made out of just um, ABS plumbing that I got from Home Depot. Uh, what will happen is the solar energy will hit the glass tubes and there's a vacuum inside. So there's two layers of glass. Let me see if I can get closer and show you. So this is a tube right here. We have an outside layer of glass in the middle here is a vacuum and then on the inside is another tube and that's coated with material that absorbs the heat so the sunlight goes in heats up that inner tube which heats up the space inside um, but it's insulated from uh, radiating the heat back out so it traps it and then this part here is filled with water being pumped in so the water's going into the tubes it'll get hit by the sunlight heat up convection will start um, and the pump's also circulating, so it will just continually, hopefully, raise the temperature of the water over the course of a day. I've tested these before, and they, they work. I mean, it's this isn't new technology. This vacuum tube stuff has been around for a while, but um, kind of applying it in this way to solar um, hot water heating is relatively new, and it's definitely new for me. So this is my first prototype, and... Luckily, even, you know, this should work on a cloudy day, which it is today. So we're going to test and let it go and see um, what kind of a results we get. The ultimate destination for this is actually going to be one of my greenhouses for the winter. So I was hoping that I could use these solar vacuum tubes to heat up um, a trash can filled with water. And that could, I mean, hopefully get close to 200 degrees during the day, depending on how this performs. And then at night, it would release the energy back into the greenhouse um, and kind of keep the sensitive plants in there warmer than they otherwise would stay. So that's the plan. I'll do an update for you guys um, at the end of the day or in a little while once we have some results to show. So thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.